Okay, in this video we are going to be talking about the general interface and some of the basics of Illustrator as an application. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and open Illustrator up. And when it first opens, we get this little splash screen there. And once that's done, it moves to this where I can see my toolbars and panels, which we'll talk about in a minute. Now to create a new document, I'm going to come up here to File and New. And it gives me this dialog here where I can make some choices about the document that I'm creating. I can name it. I can choose from a specific profile whether this is going to be for print or web, which changes the color model that I, or color mode that I'm using and resolution, which we'll talk about in a later video. I can set the size here or any bleeds that I want. Now one thing you'll notice is that the size is being measured in points right off the bat. Um, I can change that units temporarily right here, say that I want this one to be in inches or millimeters or one of these other options. But if I want that to be changed uh, for the default, I don't want it to default to points, but would rather it default to say inches, I can change that like so. I just click cancel. Now, if I am on a Mac, like I am right now, I go up here to Illustrator and then to Preferences. On a PC, the preferences are under Edit. So I would go to Illustrator or Edit and then Preferences, and then I would come here to the Preferences as Units. Now, under Units, I just need to change the general units from points to whatever I'd like that to be. So I'm going to say Inches and just click OK. And you can see now that if I go back and say File and New, that defaults to inches for me. So let's go ahead and just stick with these settings. And I'm going to click OK to open my new Illustrator document. Now, what you're looking at here, this white sheet in the middle, this is called my artboard. The artboard is where my illustration lives. This is where it's going to be. Consider it like your piece of paper if you were drawing this manually. Outside of the artboard, I can still draw. I can still create things outside of the artboard. But this is more like a, a scratch paper. This is an area for me to work with and then move things on to the artboard, which is where my final illustration will be. Now, you can have multiple artboards in a document. For our purposes, we'll only be dealing with one. But documents can have more than one artboard, which would be similar to having more than one page. Okay. Now, let's take a look at just the general interface as we see it. Up here at the very, very top, we have a bar that's called the application bar. Now, the one thing I want to point out to you about the application bar is right over here on the right where it says essentials. And these are my workspaces. Now, workspaces are kind of like saved layouts for the application. We're going to learn in a minute about these panels over here on the side and how you can add two panels or move them away or around or close them. And then this right here is where you can save that particular layout. So for example, under Essentials, it's giving me this particular layout for my panels. If I were to say that I was working on some typography, for example, I can choose this typography layout, and you'll see that it's very different over here now. My panels are in different positions. I have different ones open. I have different ones closed. Um, and it's ready for what they consider the best one for typography, at least a, a default one for typography. Now the nice thing about this is I can save my own. Let's just say that I find that there's particular panels that work really well when I'm working on a particular type of project or maybe for a particular client of mine. I can get this set up the way that I want to, which again, we'll learn how to do that in a minute. But then I could come up here to my, my workspace settings in my application bar and I can say that I want to make a new workspace. And I would just name that workspace whatever I'd like and then click OK. And it would be saved up here so that I could then at any time with one click get to that layout. So that's really the most important thing to know about with the application bar. Underneath that, we have the control panel. And that's the second bar down. The control panel we're going to be using a lot when we're learning about Illustrator. The control panel has settings that change a little bit depending upon what tool I'm working with at the time. So if I'm working with, say, the type tool, you'll see that it adds in some settings for my font and my font size and things like that. So this control panel is dynamic. It will change and have different options based upon what I'm working on at the time. And we'll be learning about all those options as we go through these videos, or at least a lot of them. 
Next, let's talk about the panels. The panels are over here on the right side, okay? Now, <clears throat> right now, these are all closed. If I put my mouse on any of these and rest it for a second, I get what's called a tooltip. Tooltip is that little yellow window that's underneath it right now that's telling me what that panel is. So this is color. This is my color guide. This is my brushes panel. Now, if I click on one of these panels, it opens it up. You can see, so there's my color panel. Click on that, that's my color guide. Now these panels have lots of different purposes and we're gonna be learning about several of the panels through these videos. The panels all have a menu, which is up in the upper right hand corner. And if I click on that, you can see that I've got options and that's specific to the panel that I'm working on at that time, okay? So if I say to click on the menu for the panel, I'm talking about right up here in the upper right of the panel. If I click it again, it closes it. Now, if I want to bring out a panel that isn't currently open, let's say, for example, I need to work with the Pathfinder panel, okay? Well, I can come up here to the Window menu, and the Window menu has all of my panels. It starts here under, act, under Actions and goes all the way down to Variables. These are all the panels I can bring out. So if I want to use the Pathfinder panel, which we're going to learn about in a later video, I click on that, and you'll see that here it is. It pops up this panel. Now you'll notice it's not actually over here with my other panels, it's free floating. Any of these panels can be free floating and can be laid out however you want. So I could come over and just stick this, oops, come over and just stick this down at the bottom there and it would just attach and there it is. I can move these around, reorganize them. I could pull this off again and click this little double arrow to open it up and just put it over here along the side. So there's lots of different ways that I can lay these out in any way that you know that's, that works best for how I'm working on things. But you'll see as we go through this that we're gonna be bringing out and closing a lot of different panels. Just know that this is just kind of a, an essential, as they say there, sampling of the panels that we'll be using in Illustrator.